Hi! This is Jamie. Well, alam ko ilang araw na na nandiyan ka sa bahay at marami ka nang sinasabi tinatanong bakit ang nangyayari to. Ay, gusto mo na magalit. Some of you are worried na hindi mo maintindihan bakit nangyayari lahat to. And some of you are bored staying at home. Well, this vlog is to help you. What are the tips to do during quarantine? Number one, assess. You know, this is the perfect time to assess yourself. Assessment by means of asking yourself, Kamusta ka na nga ba talaga? Uy, tagal mo nang hindi natatanong yan. How are you for the past months, weeks, days, or pinakamagandang tanong, years? <laughs> Kamusta ka na nga ba talaga? What are the things to improve? What are the things to develop? You know, it's never too late to just ask yourself, write it down, and improve. And then when you see that improvement or see that, you know, thing that you need to improve, make it a habit until it become a lifestyle. Malay mo, paglabas mo sa quarantine na to, kakaiba ka na. Ibang attitude, ibang mindset. You have a new vision and a new you. Claim mo na yan. Second, spend time with your families. You know, it's never too late to spend time with your families. One of the gifts from God is to spend time with them. Kasi hindi lahat ng oras you have that opportunity. You know, this is the perfect time to put down your cell phones, put down your computers, and why not ask questions? Tell some stories with your parents. Alam mo ba na isa sa mga pinakamasarap kakwentuhan? Plus, marami ka pang matututunan is with your parents. Wag mahiya. Just grab this opportunity. Pray together. It could, uh, it could also, you could also worship together, do your devotions together, pray. You know, we really not, we really need that as a family. When we, when families unite, something happens. Isa sa mga namimiss namin ni John, now that we are married, is that spending time with our families. Because sa toong nga eh, na when you are in the season, iba na talaga yung priorities mo. Iba na yung, yung dapat mong unahin. And why not just grab that opportunity na habang kasama mo pa yung pamilya nyo sa bahay, come on, do it. Do it now until it's too late. Number three, be healthy and be productive. You know, kahit nasa bahay ka, I love the word, I love the quote of a writer. He, he said, you know, stay at home but do not stay the same. Please, magstay ka sa bahay pero wag mo hayaan na maging katulad ka pati ng dati. Diba? So, kahit nasa bahay ka, be productive. Look for opportunities to help. Um, clean the house. Work out. Ano pa? Um, initiate. Uh, magluto ka. Anything that you can do na hindi mo madalas na gagawa. Also, be healthy by means of Take care of yourself, drink medicine, eat healthy, and um, stay clean. Of course, we nasabay ka maligo. <laughs> and, um, and the most important thing is that do not just be productive outside, but be productive in your spiritual side. So, this moment, take this opportunity to draw more closer to God. Um, go deeper in love with the Lord. Open that Bible a little more. Read that Bible a little longer. Pray more often. What else? Worship God even without the crowd or the the church. The church itself, the building. You know, because yan ang nature natin. Yan ang nature natin mga tao. We are bound to do something, to create something out of nothing. Yes! So do it! Number four is 
obey. Sabi nga nila, diba? Obey before you complain. So, do you know that God gave this, you know, delegated authorities over us for us to obey and respect? Yes! Hindi ba natin maintindihan fully kung bakit nila yun pinapatupad, bakit nila yun ginagawa. But, all we need to do is trust and pray for them. Than saying any things or things against them, why not start praying for them? Yes, obey is from the Lord. Obedience is from the Lord. How we obey God, we should also obey those authorities that's given to us. At the end of the day, kung maliman yung ginagawa nila or tama, pananagutan nila yun kay Lord. At least ikaw, ginawa mo yung part mo. Yes? Yes! And number five is encouragement. You know, this is what we need in this world, in this pandemic right now. You know, why not stop criticizing and start encouraging? Yes, isn't it that it's so good to wake up in a world that is full of encouragement than hate? A home that is full of uplifting of uh, upliftment words than hating one another ang sarap makasama ng isang taong seeing gold to everybody than trash you know kaysa pansinin natin yung iba or pansinin natin yung puro na lang mali ng kapwa why not start looking at yourself and Tanong mo yung sarili mo, ano pa nga ba yung mga dapat itama sa akin? Then be good and excel! And do you know that we are accountable of the words that we are saying every day? Yes! So why not start encouraging yourself? Look at the mirror and say, you look great! <laughs> start encouraging the, the people around you, such as your family, your friends, your social media friends also, and the nation. You know, we there's power in our tongue, and this tongue can put someone to death and life. So, sana maging source ka ng life. Lastly, number six is do not live in fear. I know some of you are so fearful right now. Takot ka, baka ma mahawa ka. Takot ka, baka wala ng future. Takot ka, baka maging worse pa yung situation ng buong mundo. Hey, can you just pause a little moment and? Just ask God and ask yourself, Sino nga ba ang may control ng lahat ng ito? Sino ba ang may pagmamayari ng buong mundo? Sino ba yung pwedeng magtanggal ng sakit or ng diseases? Isn't it? It's God. So instead of asking why, 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 why and why, why not begin to trust God? Instead of asking why, begin to put your hope in the Lord because you know he is the beginning and end he is the alpha and omega he is sovereign meaning he knows everything wala pa tong pandemic na to alam na ng Panginoon ang dapat niyang gawin all we need to do is just just trust in him pero hindi lang trabaho ni Lord no na he is in control he can you know heal the sick and all that pero may trabaho din tayo Yes, he is in control, but you have a job. What's your job in this in this in this pandemic that's happening in the world? You know, it's time to go back to God. For siguro for the longest time you've been so busy. Busy ka sa trabaho, busy ka sa future ng family mo, busy ka sa future mo. And sometimes you forgot the most important things. But most important thing and that is the Lord so why not today you go back to him believe in him make him your Lord repent from all your sins and I tell you that's your work and he will tremendously bless you you know it's never too late this is the perfect time to go back to the Lord so there you have it guys I hope that this vlog blessed you and do not live in fear anymore because God is in control. God bless you and let's keep on praying for those frontliners, for those people na affected na po ng virus. Let's pray for our government. Let's pray for, for the whole world to come before the Lord. 
because you know this is the key in every plagues and every diseases it is a reminder that we need to go back to Jesus Christ so it's never too late go back to God God bless you see you again